while we're here on the tracing paper, I want to make a little more sense of these uh, stools as well. I'll put in the top. We added the little bit extra at the top for the cushion. And this is important because we want to make the top a little smaller than the base. Our stools are narrower at the top and wider at the base. So we've done this on other occasions, but it's good to repeat it because it's a, a method that you can use for so many other things that you'll be drawing in perspective. And of course, it's always important to know where the center of any box in perspective is. And that's what we'll be doing here when we make an X from corner to corner. That's the top of the cushion that we added. And I hope everyone's being a little more careful than, than I'm being. Okay, now I want to select a box that's just a little bit smaller. So I'm using my left vanishing point and I'm going to make, I'm going to stop. Each time I cross that diagonal, I'm going to stop and go the other way. And when I get there, I stop and go this way. Now, that's my smaller top. All I have to do is join my four corners to those new corners, and I'll begin to see the angles that I'm looking for. And it's always tricky. Sometimes you, t you take too much off. You make the top box too small. Sometimes you don't make it small enough. So you have to be prepared to Try a couple of sizes for that top box until you get something that looks like the references you're working from. So we're going to see all four legs and uh, the cushion would be on top. It doesn't change though. It stays the same. So you just make that straight. And you do the same thing on the other, but you transfer the information, either at the front or the back, you transfer that same information so that that distance is the same as this distance that you worked with here. And now they're beginning to look like something that belongs. That's the trouble with the simple boxes. They don't look like anything yet. So it's hard to make decisions sometimes, and a piece of tracing paper over top can really help. And you do the same thing, join up. This is actually the kind of exciting part where you see what kind of angle you've created. Sometimes you don't have an angle at all because the leg is facing you. So, but I'm going by that box on the floor here and those two legs are lining up. But that would be, now I transfer this across. So wherever you can, you transfer information the way we transferred the size of that countertop all the way across as well. We also have what are called toe kicks in our kitchen cabinetry and so on. And what it means is, and you'll notice this at home, that the cabinets don't sit on the floor like this, quite flush like this. They're actually recessed. It's a good idea to make an X. Whenever you can, make an X. And that way you can transfer what you're drawing here all the way around to the other cabinetry as well, the cabinetry at the back. So you start with the largest thing you can work with 
and go back from there. So the recess, it's going to occur, I'm using my right vanishing point now, it's going to occur like that. So that's probably not enough. I should maybe do a little more, but we'll start with this. We'll do a little bit more. That way, the corner that you draw here will not be the corner that you started with. It's going to be back because there's gap here for your toes. So, and then from there, you go back to your original width, which is here, and you carry forward using that original corner. So you've got the recess here and here, and then you've got your original box here. So the, the corner of this facing side is not the same as the corner above because it's recessed. The refrigerator, pardon, it would be, it's not directly on the floor either. This sort of thing gives it a look of authenticity that you can't get by leaving it out. You have to think of these things. I'm gonna make an X on my island now. So the, the kitchen is an excellent opportunity to try out all your skills in terms of perspective. It's a good way to wrap up our course to try some of these ideas. So here it's crossing the, not that we didn't have enough on this island already, but there's more information to do, to have. So there's my new corner for my toe kick. And here's my original corner for my island. And this is tricky. This may not look good. I may have to try a couple, but we'll see. Well, I can't see. That's a problem. So here's the toe kick. And the original corner is here. So I might actually have, um, in trying to get that across, I might actually have made this too high. There's the original corner and there's the recess. And you can um, estimate what it would look like over here since it's so tiny. It may not, it may not matter that much, but, and the corner's hidden. So you would just recess that a little bit. You mustn't forget to add in the backsplash as well. So we can have it about a foot high I'm starting back here because we have to accommodate that little bit of architectural detailing that we put in. So that's going to bring it back a little bit higher here. I'm using my left vanishing point to get that across. And then it comes across here as well, right across to the window. And then it picks up again over here. And at the window, we have the window sill, which is lower. So you might accommodate that by having a, a double line here.